What is up you guys? Megan Houston here, your registered dietitian. And for today's video, I decided I would give a full review on the meal subscription Green Chef. It's supposed to be the most sustainable meal kit and it's supposed to have really fresh recipes. They got tilapia with mango salsa. Butter braised barramundi, I think that's how you say it. And then sun dried tomato flatbreads. These are the three recipes that we got. And our first uh, box came 40% off. So I think we got three meals for $35, which is fantastic. Now, the uh, instructions for each of the recipes are on the back so that is really really nice and it's almost like you could maybe make this at home later uh, you could like go to the store and buy the same things maybe uh, but for tonight's recipe we're going to do the tilapia with the mango salsa it came in a little brown paper bag like this all the meals came in this box and we can this is supposed to be a hundred percent recyclable uh, here is our tilapia. So, I guess uh, we're pretty hungry, uh, so we're going to go get started. So, this is how the ingredients came. They came individually packaged. Pretty much everything is chopped and ready to go for us, which is really nice. Uh, I don't even know if we have to chop anything at all except maybe the peppers. Um, so, like, this is the cauliflower rice. Uh, we got peppers, spice blend, chim chimichurri <laughs> sauce um so anyways this recipe is supposed to be keto paleo and gluten free so they are also really good about if you're trying to follow a specific diet for you to help and they are also really aware of allergens um so yeah and this is actually certified gluten free so that's a really big deal for some people that have uh, a gluten allergy. So we're going to go ahead and start making this meal and we'll do a check in like halfway point so you can see how it's going. So, so far, this is what we have done. We chopped up the red pepper and made a salsa with the mango and chimichurri sauce. And then uh, we just opened up the green beans and put a little bit of our olive oil spray and seasoned it with a little bit of the jerk seasoning blend. And we're going to put this in the oven. Uh, and then we're heating the oven to 425 degrees to do that. So this is all we've had to do so far. It's really, really easy. If you don't know how to cook, this is the perfect recipe for you. <laughs> so we're going to keep on working on it and see how it goes. What are you doing? Hmm? Don't. I have to cut all that out. That takes me so much time. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. So we have the cauliflower rice cooking with the coconut in there, which you can't see, obviously, because it's white as well. We got our tilapia in the pan. Uh, seasoned with the jerk seasoning. We got our green beans in the oven with the almonds everything is coming together should be ready in about three to four minutes um probably the only thing is is that this does kind of dirty up quite a few pans but i'm not mad about it i think it's going to taste pretty darn good <laughs> so we'll see you here in a second when it's all put together all right you guys it is time for the taste test I think it looks actually really, really good. I'm going to try everything um, to give you a little bit of the lowdown. But let's take a little bit of, bite of this here coconut cauliflower rice. I actually really like that. That tastes really good. It kind of has like a coconut tea taste to it, but not really. Just tastes like something really good that's mashed up. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's try a little bit of this salsa here. I'm sure that you're supposed to eat it on top of the food, but I just want to try that. So, very fresh. I like it. It's pretty good. Honestly, I would almost eat that like before with like chips rather than putting it on top of my food, but it's really good. All right. Let's try some of these green beans here with almonds. 
Honestly, this recipe has a lot of healthy fats, a lot of protein, veggies, fruits. It's actually very, very well balanced. Green beans are good. I'm a little bit used, you know, more used to the southern style green bean, but that is actually really good. Let's see, let's try a little bit. The star of the show here. A little bit of this here, tilapia. That is a very good piece of fish. And I really like the Jam Jamaican jerk seasoning. It's just different. I never cook food that way, so it's a really nice change. If I rated it, I would get an overall 7 out of 10. Pretty good. Not the best I've had. But we're going to enjoy this dinner, and we'll let you know how the next recipe turns out. All right, you guys. It is time for recipe number two of the Green Chef meal subscription and for today's recipe we're doing sun-dried tomato flatbreads now i will say that i tried to pick the healthiest um recipes that they had and i wasn't super happy with how many calories this was per serving it is 820 but i mean if you're thinking about that this is a pizza that's really not that bad but then again um it's still a little high if you're trying to watch your calories, but it is all really good ingredients. It's pesto, sun-dried tomatoes, mozzarella. Uh, so it does have some really good foods on there for you. Uh, definitely not going to doubt that. There is no um, protein per se, except for the cheese. Uh, so the, I would say this is a vegetarian meal. Uh, but it doesn't say anything exactly. It just says sun-dried tomato flatbread. So there might be some sort of uh, protein-based product in here. But we're going to try to do a pretty cool clip -it of this recipe. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so here is the pizzas all together. It's going to have the tomatoes. It's going to bake for 12 to 14 minutes. And then right here, we're going to make a delicious uh, kale salad. I'll show you that. It's pretty much just putting these ingredients together, which is kale, bell pepper, the olive oil vinaigrette, and sunflower seeds. And then we will top the pizza with the balsamic vinegar. So once we get there, I'll show you the final product. All right, you guys, the pizza is done, and Daniel is going to be the taste tester this time, <laughs> uh, but it turned out actually really good. It really has some great color to it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. You're going to try the pizza first? Whichever. Okay. Daniel's going to try the salad first. <laughs> what you think? Is it as good as Olive Garden? No. <laughs> Do you like it? It's alright? It's pretty plain. Plain. But, uh, I mean the pepper, when you first bite into it, it's definitely very plain. But the pepper gives it a little bit of something. Sweetness, maybe? Yeah, but not a whole lot. All right, let's try the pizza. Maybe it'll be a winner. It just came out of the oven, so it might be hot. I don't know. Good? Good as... Mellow mushroom pizza. <laughs> it's definitely crunchy. Which is good. I like crunchy. The sauce gives it a little bit of sweet. The tomatoes are good. And the... Would you eat it again? Oh, uh, for sure. Okay. It would be a good like lunch meal. 
So if you rated it between one to ten, ten being the best, what do you think? <clears throat> All the pizza I've had? No, like just this dinner. Like if you rated this dinner one to ten. I'd give it a an eight? No. Oh. I would give it a. Oh, my bad. My bad. Six. Okay. So mediocre. Very the Green Chef subscription box is not impressing us as much as the Sun Basket, but we're going to enjoy our pizza and I'll catch you guys at the next recipe. All right, you guys, we are here to the final recipe. It is butter basted, basted, baramundi, I believe that's how you say it. Um, it is a gluten free recipe but it is once again pretty high in calories it has 890 per serving uh not a huge fan of that so i might actually change the recipe a little bit to make this a little bit uh more friendly to uh our bodies um but for this last recipe i'm actually not gonna show the whole step by step i'm just gonna show you the final product and taste um, overall, I'll have to say I'm not, like, the biggest fan of Green Chef, but who knows, this recipe might knock it out of the park. Um, uh, but yeah, we're gonna cook it, we'll let you know how it tastes, and then we'll give you a final review of Green Chef. Alright, you guys, so here is the final plate. It actually looks really, really pretty. I did change the recipe, I took all of the butter out of it so just trying to make it a little bit more heart friendly health friendly and also a little bit easier on the waistline so i'm not sure exactly the calorie information anymore but i do know that it's less so it's a little bit better about it but i'm going to try a little bit of everything uh, all right let's try some of this here beet salad it's pretty good the orange i actually cut the orange myself it's actually really good Demolene in season, flavorful. It's not like not juicy or anything like that. That's pretty good. The quinoa is really good too. It was interesting. We cooked it with the scallions, so I thought that was a really nice, like, interesting way to add a little bit more flavor. And then I also topped it with a little bit of extra feta cheese that I had left over that I didn't put in the salad. Just to give it a little bit more flavor because it was kind of bland on its own. And then let's try this here. Fish. Pretty excited about it. I've never had bear moon meat before. That's pretty good. I'm actually quite impressed. I like this one probably second after the tilapia. Overall, I don't think it's a bad meal uh, subscription. I just think it might not... It has very, like, fresh, whole ingredients. I think that's really good. Everything is organic. And the recipes are super easy to follow. I just am not a huge fan of the choices that they had. Just because I did try to pick the healthiest ones. And two of them were almost 900 calories. Which is a little on the heavy end uh, for me, personally. But... Other than that, I think it was pretty good. I do, I have had other meal subscriptions that I've liked better. Um, but it's not something that I wouldn't say wasn't good. Uh, but I wouldn't necessarily continue, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so that's my honest review of Green Chef. If you have anything else that you want me to try, or even just recipes that you've seen online, but you don't want to buy all the ingredients, I probably have them on hand. And I will go and try them for you. <laughs> Alright, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope you have a wonderful day.